Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Royer. This is a video so you can see and hear me, but I cannot see and hear you. I really miss you, and I look forward to when we can get together real soon. Today, we're going to read a story called Build It from A to Z. Now, we can assume because it says from A to Z that this is an alphabet book, and this one is written by Trish Holland. There is not an illustrator because it uses photographs. We're just going to dig right in. We're not even going to have any, um, we're not even going to have any vocabulary today. It took me a minute to remember that word, that fancy teacher word, teacher word, vocabulary. A, A is for architect. An architect designs a building. How tall? How wide? Will it be brick? or concrete or wood? Where will the windows or doors go? She draws a plans called blueprints. All the answers are there. Does anybody know what kind of hat that is? That's right, it's a hard hat. So hard hats are used so that if something heavy falls on your head, you do not get hurt. It's a hard hat. B is for bulldozer. A bulldozer bustles back and forth to clear a space for a new building. The bulldozer pushes dirt and debris away. Now builders can begin. B, B, B. Lots of B sounds in that. C is for concrete. A concrete mixer churns as it combines cement sand, tiny rocks, and water to make concrete. When the concrete is ready, it slides down the chute. The concrete will dry as hard as a stone. Really hard. D is for dump truck. A dump truck delivers dirt, sand, or gravel for construction. The driver tilts the back and the load pours down. E is for engineer. An engineer examines the plans for elevators, escalators, and electric lights. He makes sure everything in the building will work once it's built. Hey, they're wearing hard hats too. It's important that everybody protects their head. F is for forklift. A forklift ferries weighty materials for construction. Its back end is heavy, so it doesn't trip over its front when it picks up a heavy load. G is for grater. A grater scrapes at the dirt. It goes over and over an area until the ground is level. The grater grumbles and growls loudly as it works. You can't put a building on ground that goes like this. It has to be nice and flat. So that's what the grater does. H is for hard hat. Hey, we just talked about that. And I is for inspector. This page has two letters. A building inspector wears a hard hat. She knows all the city's construction rules. She inspects a building inside and out to see that the rules are followed. The hard hat helps her keep safe. J is for jigsaw. A carpenter uses a jigsaw to cut shapes into wood. The saw has jagged teeth that jiggle up and down. Sawdust flies as the carpenter cuts out shapes. K is for keep out. A keep out sign tells people to stay away. Holes, falling objects, and big moving machines are just some of the dangers at a construction site. It is very dangerous for people that do not work there to come into a construction site because things might fall on them or they might not know where it's safe to step. People that work there know the places that they can be and the places that they cannot be and the things they can touch and the things that they cannot touch. So it's important that the people that do not work there Keep out. L is for ladder. M is for mason. This is another page with two letters. A mason climbs a long ladder to lay bricks for a tall wall. 
it takes many thousands of bricks to make a whole building. So Mason is sometimes a person's first name, but it's also the name of a job. So this person's job is a Mason and he's a bricklayer. So the fancy word for bricklayer is Mason and that's his job. And hey, look, he's wearing a hard hat too. N is for nails. Construction workers hammer nails all over a new building. Large nails hold the building's frame together. Smaller nails are used for jobs like window frames and shelves. O is for overalls. P is for painter. A painter wears overalls to protect his other clothes from paint splatters. Often he's covered in paint by the end of the day. So this is another one that has two letters, O and P. And you can see the painter is also wearing a hard hat. Look at that. He's hanging from the building by ropes. There's a rope. And he's got his bucket of paint. And that's clipped to his, his belt by a carabiner. A carabiner is that kind of clip. Interesting. Q is for quarry. Stone comes from a quarry. Granite, marble, and limestones can be used in buildings. Workers take blocks or long slabs from the earth with big machines. A quarry is a noisy place. Hmm. Noisy place, you should probably wear ear protection because you can actually hurt your ears if you're in a place that's too noisy. I don't just mean shouting people. I mean, they're, they're digging up stones. That's a very loud sound. R is for roof. Every house has a roof on it. Some roofs are covered with shingles. Others are made of metal, tile, fiberglass, or even rubber. A rubber roof? I didn't know there were rubber roofs. Mine has shingles. S is for saw, T is for toolbox. Another one with two letters. A construction worker takes his toolbox to work every day. It holds saws, screwdrivers, screws, soldering irons, scissors, and much more. Everything he needs to do a terrific job. U is for utility pole. A utility pole holds up phone and electric lines outside. The lines run from the pole to the building. Sometimes utility lines run underground instead. Here in Chicago, most of our electricity lines are on poles like this. But before I moved to Chicago, I used to live in the country and they buried them under the ground. So they would actually dig like a trench. So it's like a long skinny hole. And then they put the line in and then they bury it up. They bury it with the dirt so that they wouldn't have these poles up in there. But outside of my house, I've got one like this in the alley. V is for varnish. Painters may cover wood with varnish to make it shiny. The varnish also protects the wood. While varnish is wet, it can smell like pine trees because it's sometimes made with pine tree resin. I gotta tell you, I've used varnish before, varnish before. It did not smell like pine trees. It was really stinky. It smelled yucky. W is for wheelbarrow. A worker whisks a wheelbarrow around a construction site. He takes dirt, concrete, gravel, or sand, whatever is needed. So this is a wheelbarrow. It's kind of like a wagon, but it only has one wheel. It's for moving stuff. X is for excavation. Digging the hole for a building's foundation and basement is called excavation. An excavator scoops up the dirt and drops it into a dump truck. X is for yellow and Z is for zone. A construction zone sign is often yellow. The yellow color tells people nearby to be careful. Trucks, machines, and workers are always on the go. A construction zone is a busy place. So let's see, this says attention construction zone and this says safety boots required, eye glasses are required, 
and hard hats are required. So that means you need all of those things in the construction zone to stay safe. So boots protect your feet, uh, eyeglasses protect your eyes, and hard hats protect your, your noggin, your old head. <laughs> Can you think of other words about buildings? Build them up from A to Z. Let's see, I bet we could sing an alphabet song to this page. Let me get a pointer. This is my big fat marker. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? So if you can think of other words about building, why don't you go ahead and share those with your teacher now? Because that is the end of the story. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.